Hello, this is a, a video about using hooks in the Genesis framework that's um, for WordPress. So I've made a little script so I don't forget anything. There's a lot to tell you and I don't want to forget anything. So right, we can position content on the page using hooks. This is your web page. Um, we need to know the name of the hook the content is on now the function that makes the content appear on the page, the new hook that we want to hang the content on when we move it. So I'll show you a picture uh, to give you a, a better idea of what we're doing. In Genesis, it's these little red dots. The, these are, we're pretending that they're hooks. Hooks are code, a bit of computer code. But uh, if you pretend that these red dots are the hooks, all you need to do when you want to move some of your content around is move it to a different hook. So we've hung this, um, piece of content on that hook but we could move it to this hook if we wanted to just by changing the uh, uh, the hook it hangs on I'll show you how we're going to do that in a minute so if you wanted to move it down here just hang it on a different hook these are all built into Genesis these hooks so that's all we're doing we're moving content just moving blocks of content from one hook to another hook and it's really that simple so let's get back to our script and see what's next. Right, so to move an element on our page, a block of content, things like the, the title and the uh, nav bar, things like that. To, remove, to move an element on your page, you need to remove the old action and then add a new action. So I've got a graphic to show you about that one. Let's have a look. Um, maybe that one, that's the one. So this is what we've got, this is the code we're dealing with. We've got remove action and then, so that's add or remove action, this bit here. So we've got add, uh, remove action and add action. Now before you can add, an act, well before you can put an action in a different place, you've got to remove it from the hook that it's already on. So we're going to do this so we'll actually see what uh, how it works. Then you need the hook, so we've got add or remove action then you need the hook that we're dealing with. That's the next bit of code here. And then you need to tell Genesis what, which function you're using. And that the function is the thing that actually puts the, the content on the page. So there's two important points. If you're using a function that is built into Genesis, the code above is all you need. If you're using one of your own functions, you've got to type the function code below the add action code we're using here. So if you make, if you make, make your own code, these, these functions here are built into Genesis. So we can run the function because they're already inside Genesis. These, these two are functions and they're already built into Genesis. But if we were going to add our own function, we'd put the code down here. So to move an action from one hook to another, you must remove the action from the hook it's on and then add the action to another hook. So you've got to remove the action and then add it somewhere else if you want to move a hook, uh, move a, a, some content to a different hook. So let's go back to our voice, uh, our um, thing here, our script and explain a bit more. Right, how to find actions to move or remove. You've got to open the Genesis Framework folder and look inside lib structure. So let's have a look. This is WordPress and we've got um, installed themes. Now there's a Genesis theme and with Genesis you've got the Genesis theme and then you have a, a child theme that you sort of, it, this works off the Genesis theme. So there's hardly anything inside this. So to find um, some code that we can use, we open up the Genesis theme or the Genesis framework and then we look in lib because these are almost empty. All these things here are virtually empty. Let's see. Um, we'll have a look in that one, see if there's out in there. See, that's all. All that is, that's a comment there. So that's, don't do anything. Just tells you, you know, it's just a bit of information for you. So the only code that actually does anything is that and that. But. Let's see, we'll close that one and we'll go back to Genesis. This, this is Genesis we're inside. So we've opened up the Genesis framework and we want to open up the lib folder. And then we want to look for structure. Now in here are loads of different files. So supposing you wanted to change something that was in, uh, let's go back to our web page. If you want to change something that was say, 
um, the nav bar you'd look inside this uh, uh, structure folder so we've got in genesis lib structure this one here uh, and we look for something that looked like where the nav nav bar information might be so look for, there there's one called menu and if we're looking for the nav bar menu sounds pretty uh, likely to be where we'll find the code so we'd open that one and then you want to search for add action so on most text edits if you press ctrl f you get a, a find box and we'll look for add action and there we've got that's not what we want register nav menus we'll try another do nav now that sounds tempting doesn't it genesis after header do nav so we've found the thing that actually adds the nav bar so that code there just makes the nav bar appear this makes this appear and we can move it by just using that bit of code so let's go back to our thing and see what we're doing next so we found the bit of code that we wanted so we look for the PHP file that sounds like the one that will contain the code for the part of the site we want to deal with e.g. header PHP footer PHP post PHP you just have to look around and search in them to find the particular bit of code that you want um, so choose a file open it in a plain text editor such as notepad or notepad plus plus don't do it in Microsoft Word it won't work <laughs> um, notepads are not very good actually but if you use Windows use notepad, notepad plus plus um, that one's okay and it's free so we search inside the file for add action um, and then we found a bit of code that we wanted to deal with so right, the code we're going to use in the demo looks like this add action genesis before header genesis do nav so we've got add action and then we've got a hook this bit is the hook that we're going to deal with and that's the function that the, the uh, hook makes happen you know the, the, the function that runs when you add this action and we found that one in genesis lib structure menu php All right ah, now to find the hooks the, the hooks are the positions on the page so all these different hooks you need to know what they're called and the easiest way to do that is to go there's two good websites there's this studio press page here um, if you just search for studio press hook reference and this this is just it just tells you where all the hooks are the each one of these is a hook and it says um, let's find one that you might want to use there we go before content so genesis before content this hook executes immediately before the content column outside the div con outside the content div so that's telling you where it where it um, sort of executes or where it where it uh, appears on the page but there's another good site called genesis tutorials and they've got a, they're like a picture a graphic of where all the hooks are and that one's worth looking at as well that's genesis tutorials.com and look for the find the hook you need um, so we'll go back to our page and hopefully we might be getting nearer to actually doing something right so what we're going to do we're going to remove the menu from its original hook and hang it on a new hook in a new position right so we add the code below to our functions PHP file and um, it, we, we do this in you need to use the functions PHP file in the child theme that you're using don't do it in Genesis you, you need to do it if you use a studio press theme it could be called there's loads and loads of studio press themes it might be the news theme or the uh, you know one of the other themes do it in that one not in Genesis right so we're opening up a, a functions PHP file and then we're going to remove the original nav bar and we're going to add the nav bar in a different place so let's go to our functions PHP and let's have a look go to WordPress now to get to the, the, the functions PHP file open up WordPress on your web server um, these are all the files and folders that are on, on the web server with WordPress 
open up WP content, open up themes, open up the theme you're using, the ones I'm, I'm using is called hooks demo. So that's the theme we're actually using. And then you want to open up functions PHP. Right, now, functions PHP is the file we're using. So I've commented this out just to make it easier for us to uh, save messing about a bit. Right, now what we've done, we're removing the original action that put um, this function genesis do nav on the genesis after header hook that's the hook and we're going to add it we're going to add the action onto a different hook so it's the same bit of code this is exactly the same same piece of code twice and all I've changed is remove I've, I've, um, it was add action and we've got to remove the action first then we add it onto a different hook so we put remove action and we're using two different hooks so that was before header and we did it have it on after header right so let's see if that works I'll show you what we expect to happen we expect this navbar to move up there so let's refresh the page uh -huh. <laughs> menu bar I think no wrong one I closed these to make more space on our uh, our our um, thing oh no I wonder if we saved the um, there we go you've got to remember to save you when you've changed something functions PHP you've got to remember to save it what went wrong here? I'd, I'd removed these to make more space on the screen. I'd sort them back. So you see how it's gone up there? It's up there now, and we've moved it from down here. So I'll move it back, and then it'll just so you can see what we're doing. Just comment the code out so it disappears again. Save it, and now it'll come back down, down here. So I'll refresh the page, and then it moves it back down. But that's the basic idea. All we need to do is um, find up functions PHP again. In functions PHP, you remove. You've got to find the uh, the um, action that you're using, and then you've got to um, remove it from the hook it's on already, and then add it to a different hook. So we removed the navbar from after header and then we added it to before header so we moved it up the page a bit I'll just have a look at our um, thing yeah I think that's all we've got to the end that's convenient so if you want to you can add your own function um, the, what I've been showing you is just moving a function that's inside Genesis already if you want to add your own functions your own function is just little blocks of code um, if you want to add your own functions you've got to have the add action then the hook that you're going to hook it on then the function name and then you've got to type your function below you don't, have to, don't actually have to put it below here but that's what you would most likely do um, so we've got the add action the hook name the function name and then the function would go here that's if you want to do your own function you don't the, what we're dealing with is just moving genesis functions well it's a bit of a complicated video is that one but hooks are really really important in genesis and it's well worth um learning how they work once you understand how hooks work and actions genesis makes a lot more sense uh, and then you can put your own functions anywhere you want you know you can just sort of pop them in anywhere um well i'll leave it there because it's it's been a long video <laughs> um and a bit more uh, complicated than i was hoping it was going to be I hope you find it useful and I hope you pop back. Bye for now.